So to trim my flying geese, I'm going to use a rotating cutting mat and my six and a half inch square ruler, my rotary cutter, and my flying geese. And the first thing I'm going to do is rotate my mat so that I'm going to cut this edge first. I like to cut this edge first to make sure I keep this point. Um, so I'm going to use my ruler, this quarter inch line. It's going to, I'm going to line it up on the point. And this first cut is going to be one quarter inch away from the point. And that ensures whatever I sew this edge to, I still have this point right here. So I'm going to rotate my mat 180 degrees and cut this opposite edge. In these blocks, I'm trimming to two and a half by four and a half inches. So I'm going to find the two and a half inch line and line it up on the line that I just cut. And then I'm going to trim the opposite edge. Then I can rotate my mat 90 degrees and all that's left are these two short edges. So since this block is, should be four and a half inches wide, looking at my four and a half inch mark, and I want to make sure there's room on this edge and to trim right here. And I really try to look at the center of the block and make sure this point lines up in the center. Looks good, so I'm going to make that cut, rotate my block. And for this last cut, I'm going to make sure all three of these lines um, are lined up nicely. There we go. And you have a nice square flying geese.